I will cry. I know I'll cry. Uh, now, I'm with all our Dorothys. Uh, now, uh, Steph, you've had a, a great week because last week, of course, uh, Andrew didn't see you as Dorothy, but now he's mad about you. Yeah, um, that's really nice. Um, it was horrible last week being in that position. No one wants to be the first one to do that. But, um, yeah, you just have to brush yourself off and focus on the next week, and hopefully I did enough. All right. And uh, Stephanie, uh, Charlotte named you as the performance of the night. You must be over the moon. I am over the moon, but I just hope I'm not sitting on it tonight. <laughs> no, I am really happy with my comments. You know, it's brilliant. I just hope that the um, public vote me in for another week so I can show Charlotte that I've got more to give. All right. And Sophie, I mean, you got a quite mixed comments. Uh, John, again, not convinced. Do you think you could ever turn him around? Well, I hope so, because, you know, we all do want to prove to the panel that we are the Dorothys they're looking for. So I just hope I'm here another week to pack some more punch in my performance. All right. Well, good luck to all of you. Well, have our Dorothys inspired you? If so, get yourself down to one of the Over the Rainbow musical masterclasses that we are holding across the country. Anyone is welcome to join in the sing-along. To find out more, go to bbc.co.uk slash Dorothy. Still to come, the dreaded sing-off beckons. But now for tonight's acting mission. This week, Andrew enlisted Sheila to help the girls get in touch with their inner Dorothy. But who gave a winning performance? Sheila has given the girls just 48 hours to learn a scene from The Wizard of Oz. I particularly wanted to do this scene when she meets the scarecrow because a scarecrow talking is quite alarming, so I want to see how they deal with that. And then he's a sad creature, he hasn't got a brain. I want to see maybe some compassion. And then the end of the scene is when they pal up and she's got a mate to go on the journey with. So there's quite a lot of, it's a short scene, but quite a lot happens. Oh, God. I think we've all learned it. I think so. <laughs> the acting's going to definitely be a challenge more than what the singing is. I am quite a good actress and I'd like to show that today. Because I was in the bottom two last week, I do feel like there's a little bit of extra pressure and obviously everyone wants to impress Sheila Hancock, so... Yeah, just got to do well. And there's not only Sheila to worry about, there's a rather unpredictable scarecrow to contend with. Now which way do I go? Only one way can be the right way. Now which way do we go? Well, only one way can be the right way. That way's a very nice way. You can talk, can't you? Of course! <laughs> oh. I just don't often have a lot to say. Maybe you can help me find my way. Which way are you heading? Well, I'm heading home. Oh. I just don't know how to get there. But the Wizard of Oz can show me. She's so good, Lawrence. Verging on too good. And she has a, a wonderful sincerity about her, which sometimes gets hidden by a bit of gloss. Ooh, that Sheila's a tough cookie to please. Maybe the Wizard can help me find out what it is. By the way, I'm Dorothy. I'm Dorothy? My name's Dorothy. I'm Dorothy. Oh, how do you do? <laughs> Very well, thank you. Well, you were, Sophie, until you started forgetting your lines. I don't know how to get there. Hmm. Oh. I can't even remember where the line is now. Now I'm off stage. It's gone. I can't think of it. <laughs> oh, dear, Danny. It must be catching. Maybe the wizard can can help you. I am... Um... Sorry. You have to know lines upside down, inside out. It's the most important thing. I don't know, I felt really annoyed because I, I, I knew them really well, but I just couldn't think what the lines were, so I'm a bit disappointed. Let's see how our other Dorothys get on. I'm sure the wizard would be able to get you a brain, but even if he doesn't, I'm sure you'll be no worse off than you are now. So why don't we? What? Go there together. Jessica and Steph were doing a bit what is expected in musical theatre. Uh, Stephanie, she wasn't listening to the scarecrow. It was sort of slightly acted listening. If I were rehearsing them, I'd be going, stop it, stop smiling, stop this, stop that. Of course! Ha! Hooray! Hooray! We're going to rock to see the wizards! <laughs> Lovely Bronte, so well good. done. All right, thank you. See you later. <laughs> I think you have to go that way, sweetheart. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Bye, thank you. 
Well, the ones that stood out most for me because they were so different were Jenny. She totally remained in character. This kind of startled thing. Bronte, I thought, she's got funny little legs that collapse under her. Emily was staggering to me. She's sometimes a little bit timid, but she used that for the character, which could be a great asset. I think the one that really took me by surprise was Danielle, because she found a sort of solemnity and grace in Dorothy. She's a considerable actress, in my opinion. If I only had a brain.